Hey, my brothers and sisters, in the mighty name of King Yeshua, Hamashiach, I greet you. Okay, this video, I'm going to be reading Luke 2, because as I had mentioned, um, King Yeshua wants me to read this up until Christmas time. And then, I want to give all of you who do not have King Yeshua, our perfect Savior, in your heart. He wants all of his children to love him. And he wants them to come to repentance because he has done all the work for you. When he suffered and died on the cross. And when the Father raised him up on the third day, he conquered all things and put them under his feet. The Father has made his name the mightiest name of all. And his is the only name that can save and his is the only name that can forgive sins. He did all that for us, willingly. He did not have to die on that cross. He's God. He could have gotten off of it. But he stayed. He stayed on it and suffered the most horrible death because crucifixion. It makes it to where you can't breathe. It's a horrible death. And King Yeshua suffered the most horrible death because not only did he willingly willingly go to his death and was beaten Beyond recognition, it says, he took upon all of the world's wretched sins. My sins, your sins, the world's sins. He had all that upon him who knew no sin. While we were godless, he died for us. And when you have him in your heart and you walk with him and you stay in a repentant state, in a broken state, and he loves to walk with his children and he teaches them along the way. And yes, he has fires that you go through, but his fires strengthen you, refine you, and purify you and make you spotless. And he gives you righteousness, which is white linen, as described in his word as white linen. He gives you righteousness. He makes you holy because his word says, lift up holy hands to the Lord. And his word says, be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. So he makes you perfect. He makes you all these, but you can't be any of these without him. I would be nothing without my God. I am but dust, and I make mistake after mistake after mistake. And it doesn't matter. He still loves you. He's, not, he's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you. That's his promise. And he gives you eternal life with him, with God Almighty. He gives you eternal life. And he is the only way. He is the only life. And he is the only truth. No one comes to the Father but by Him. And King Yeshua is the Word. 
and the flesh. John, one of the Gospels, in the first chapter, talks about he, how he was the Word in the flesh, or the Word became flesh. And he manifested his self in, in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil. That's also what his holy scriptures say. But he is the only one that can forgive our sins. And he's the only one that can save us. And he is the mediator between God the Father and us. Because when you're when you have him in your heart, when you walk with him and stay in a repentant state, a broken state, a contrite heart. His blood covers you and cleanses you. And when Father looks at you, he sees his perfect son's blood covering you. And his wrath is turned away from you. For if you do not have King Yeshua's blood covering over you, then you have the Father's wrath upon you. And that's what his holy scriptures say. And you do not want Father's wrath upon you. And you use King Yeshua's precious blood to cover yourself and your family and your home and your cars, everything you can think of in faith because his blood is activated by faith. And without faith, you cannot please God. King Yeshua is the author and finisher of our faith. And he distributes it as I, as we need it. He's already given it to us. But he strengthens us in faith. He increases our faith as we walk with him. And he gives it to us as we need it. And his grace is sufficient for me. And his grace is sufficient for you. For he knows what you're going to encounter. He knows your every thought before you think it. And he knows your whole walk with him all the way to eternity. He knows all of this. For he is God Almighty. There's nothing that God doesn't know. Who can search the riches of God's mind and wisdom? Nobody. Who can compare to God? Nobody. Who can be God's equal? Nobody. And God is pure and true love. He truly is. And I love my God. And I worship him all the day is long. And I praise his holy name. His word says to look up for your redemption draweth nigh. I do. I look up every time I go outside and I praise him. For I love my God. And my God takes care of me and protects me. And he gives everything to his children freely. And he expects obedience to him. And he wants his children's love. For he does not force himself on us. He wants us to love him for being God. That's who he is. And when you have King Yeshua into your heart, you know God. His word says, if you know the Son, then you know the Father. <laughs> for it says, he and the Father are one. 
And it also says that no one can snatch you from King Yeshua's hands and no one can snatch you from the Father's hands. For the Father is the greatest of all. Amen. Oh, hallelujah to our wonderful God who loves his creation with a love that we'll never understand. God is just so big, you can never understand him. He's all-encompassing, he's mysterious, and he's faithful. And he will be with us till the ends of the earth. And then one day, if you have him in your heart, one day you'll be with him in paradise. For wherever he is, is paradise. How loving is that? What a promise. What a wonderful and loving promise from our God. He's prepared a place for us. And if he's prepared a place for us, he will come back for us. Amen. I praise him. I praise our wonderful Father Yahweh and our beautiful Holy Spirit. And I praise Father Yahweh's glorious Son, our Savior of the world, King Yeshua HaMashiach. I love him so. Amen. So I'm going to, if I did not already, which my memory is terrible, uh, give you Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 that I was describing to invite King Yeshua into your heart. There's two things that his word is saying right here that you need to do. And that is starting with verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead Thou shalt be saved, for with a heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. Today is a day for salvation. You can call upon him right now with a repentant heart and sincere heart. Confess your sins to King Yeshua and invite him in. Do these two things that his word says. Confess him with your mouth and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. And you shalt have our perfect Savior dwelling within you. He refines us and purifies us. And he was faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. If you have any questions, please email me at wmdgross31260 at yahoo.com. I will pray about your request, your prayer request, your question. I will pray. And I will get back with you. I do everything by prayer, so sometimes it takes a while. Amen to our loving, precious, and holy God. Okay, now I'm going to read Luke 2, which describes our beautiful, worthy, wonderful Savior's birth. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. 
and this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph in the babe, lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our glorious, holy, powerful, mighty Jehovah God, your beautiful Holy Spirit, and your beautiful and precious Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, whom we honor as his birth, not his real birthday, I don't think anyone knows that. But as we honor your precious son's birth coming up in a few weeks, your precious son who was born here on earth that you prepared a body for, your precious son that is all human and all God. Glory be to your holy and mighty name, our wonderful Jehovah God, our El Shaddai, our Jehovah Jireh, our God provider, our Jehovah Shalom, our God is peace, our Jehovah Nisi, our God, our banner. You are our banner of love. And you provide everything that your faithful needs. And you provide. You provide our shelter. You provide before we even know we need it. And you make a way, Father, when we think there is no other way. When we think that we cannot get out of what we're in. 
you always make a way. For you will never give us any more than what you know we can take. And you always make a way of escape. You are so wonderful. And you are lovely. And you are mighty. And you are our adventurous God, mysterious, faithful, and true. And I pray so many souls come to your precious Son, falls down on their faces to King Yeshua, worships and praises Him, and gives Him a full surrender, sincere surrender, repentant surrender. I pray that so many souls come to you through your precious Son, Father. Before things begin, and only you know when that will be. But you are warning, and you are warning, and you are warning that it is soon. Thank you for your warnings, Father. And may people open up their ears, their spiritual ears, their spiritual eyes, and awaken from their slumber and let them know what time it is you're saying it is. The time that you've had in your word for thousands and thousands of years and you say that this is the generation that will see those things come to pass. I love you so much. Please let your faithful have complete peace, contentment, joy, and happiness. For there is no fear in you our glorious God. You give us the spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. You do not give us the spirit of fear. I thank you for your peace and your everlasting love. And I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. And King Yeshua's precious, holy, and mighty name. Amen and amen. All right, I received this word <clears throat> at 12.41 p.m. Hmm. Hold on a second. I've got the wrong word pulled up. I won't. In this one. Hold on, give me a moment. I have confused myself. I do that quite a bit. Um just a bit on. Yeah, I'm on target side two. Right, okay, so now I've got the right word pulled up. Let me get it to where I can read it. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. This is the right one. My mouse will cooperate. Okay, let's try this again. Please take this word in prayer. Psalm 37, 5.
Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 6.46 p.m. on 12 December 2015. Daughter of Zion, write Papa Yahweh's thunderous words for all to hear and to experience. Lightnings and thunderings, the sound of my eternal and wrathful voice. You could not handle it in your corruptible bodies. It comes, my disobedient and violent children. When it does, it will instantly set you on fire. This is a most intense word from the Father of all. Father Yahweh, the Alpha and Omega, the first and last, the great I Am. Listen up, all you who are busy ignoring me, the Almighty. This season of woes is going to intensify greatly. You will know that I am your God, Jehovah, El Shaddai, for you will not be able to withstand my heat. I am a consuming fire. Sudden destruction is apparently what this wicked generation desires. So shall you have it. It will be a time that you will wish you were not born. I have held my mercy, and it will be ending very quickly. My time clock is telling me that my hand of mercy is going up, and no one is going to expect my judgments to come, except the ones who are wide awake. My children and my son have no fear, for fear is not of me. You will be protected. I am always in control. I know where each of you are on my earth. I have your every move in me. Be not dismayed when the world shifts to complete panic. I give you my peace, my beautiful faithful. Papa Yahweh, eternal fire, has spoken. Let me give you Numbers chapter 6, verses 23 to 27. Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy, mighty, perfect, beautiful name of our Lord and Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hashem Adonai, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.